Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover this interesting problem that's called Convert Sorted Array to Binary Search Tree. So let's quickly jump to the whiteboard. Let's let's see we are having 1, 2, 3 this sorted array. Then we can make 2 as a root and 1 as a left child and 3 as a right child. So the pattern is clear here. We can just divide our sorted array and uh, middle element we can make it as a root and then whatever the lesser than uh, mid, mid element it will go to the left side and whatever is greater than of the root that will go to the right side and recursively we can build our trees left or right trees right so the same idea is here and let's try to do the same thing here so let's say i am having one helper method i am just passing this and let's say my start position is zero and end position is num start length minus one right so let's say this is tree node helper and here let's uh, this is my array right now i'm sorry in the start intent so the base condition will be like whenever this is start will uh, will be greater than end then that will be the my base condition i will return null right because that cannot be start cannot be greater than n otherwise i can just find the mid element start plus and minus start by 2 this is same as uh, start plus n by 2 right but uh, i just make sure that i don't get overflow issue so but if you have any questions like uh, and uh, this thing like start plus and minus start by two how it works and all that's the lot of discussion is going on in internet so that you can just refer the same thing but uh, uh, if you have if you confuse and you, you can see that it's the same thing but it will just uh, make sure it will avoid the overflow right so it's the preferred way to do the to find the mid so once i get the mid i can just get the root new tree node right and nums mid my root dot left equals to i can just pass in my recursive method nums start is same and this start mid minus one why mid minus one because root i already covered with the mid so the left side will be mid minus one and right side will be mid plus one right so recursively let's call it again nums and then mid plus one and then end right and in the end let's go ahead and return root so let's try to uh, uh, ex extend this array let's say one two three four five okay so my mid is three so the root will be three and then i'm passing this uh, one two here and the right child we are i'm passing it here so this one and two right so one or two they will find they will try to find the mid itself the same thing so this will be divided again that one and two so basically it will just uh, go like that so basically let's say this is two and then basically then this is one similarly it will go to the four and then basically it will go to the five right and how it will work basically uh, so as we see in the in case of the array one two three the same way it's working it here as well so the start new start and new end they will be changing it again and again right so the new start will be this position so let's say this is 0 1 2 3 and 4 so my mid initially mid is 2 index 2 and then the next mid will be basically uh, in this array right so in this array 0 plus 1 y2 if i do this so the new mid will be 1 itself right so let's say this will be 1 itself right so uh, new mid so the root will be one here and then basically uh, it will just uh, do the right child the same thing and the right in the right side it will be two right so it will be like this and similarly it will do the same thing here so three plus four seven by two so seven by two is uh, three as an integer right and uh, seven by two is 3 right and 3 index 3 is this right so we are already having this 4 and similarly it will just uh, do the 
pass the right child so the, this will be the root and then remaining uh, is the 5 itself and 5 will go to the right side because 4 index 4 is greater than index 3 right so it will go to the right side so basically uh, it will just uh, do it recursively it will just keep finding the root and it will just uh, keep creating the root and then it will just uh, keep building the left child and uh, right child so let's try to quickly see for the compilation error and if there is not any we can just uh, quickly see the time complexity and uh, space complexity as well so basically what's happening here if we see like it the first half it's going to the left side first another half we are going to the right side so it is n by 2 and then n by 2 and then overall overall complexity will be order of n because anyways we are just uh, going through each and every node right so and then space complexity because of recursion it will be the log n or the height of the tree right but in the worst case it can be the order of uh, n as well right so log n and but in worst case it can be a space complexity will be order of n as well because if uh, tree is like a linked list and it's a skewed tree then it can go to the order of n as well but in the average it will be the log n because of the recursion it's go till the height of the tree maximum height of the tree so let's try to quickly see how it's working whether if there is any error then we can correct it okay so it's working fine hopefully this video was useful thanks a lot bye